Oh my goodness, did you guys just see that intro? That intro is completely beyond my artistic capabilities at the moment. And once again, that intro was made by my friend, the fantastic Fox Anderson. Man, thank you so much for helping with the development of my channel and the improvement of my videos. Okay, so this type of vlog is going to be a weekly occurrence, which I have called Converjasons. And I'm going to be talking about relatable things that I find very important to myself and that I think other people will find interesting to watch. Now, this week's topic is back to school, because that is something that a lot of people are experiencing right now. Yesterday was my first day back at school, and it was a little awkward at first sitting in a desk for uh, six hours, but it was nice seeing all of my friends that I hadn't seen the entire summer. This year I've noticed the general trend with my teachers is that all of them are pretty calm, but they are very good teachers. However, last year I had three teachers who were extremely spontaneous and basically taught us by yelling at us. On one hand, the more spontaneous teachers, while they keep the class interesting, they can be a little bit hard to understand. But on the other hand, the more calm teachers, while the class may be more boring, their lectures are a lot more clear and straightforward. I'm not sure. It seems that regardless of whatever method they use, the students still manage to learn. Hopefully. Another thing I've noticed is that all of my teachers had different ways of introducing themselves. For example, my English teacher did a very English teacher-like thing and wrote a letter to all of his students introducing himself. <clears throat> Dear IB 11 LA, welcome back to school. I am hope you are as excited as I am to get started this year. I'll be asking you to write a letter explaining what I need to know about you in order for us to work together this year. So I thought it would be only fair that I do the same. And he eventually went on to talk about all of the things that he has accomplished and all the things that he has done with his career as an English teacher so far. And I think he is an extremely qualified person to be teaching at my school, and I'm looking forward to a great year with him. Next, there was the more, you know, traditional form of introduction, where teachers basically just verbally introduce themselves in front of the class. <clears throat> okay, students, allow me to tell you a little bit about myself. I was born in Antarctica. Uh, my favorite activity is cricket watching. And in my free time, I like to pet dogs. I mean, none of my teachers have ever said anything that creative or unique, but I still find it interesting to hear each teacher's different story and how they ended up teaching at my high school. And finally, there's the last form of introduction, which is actually no introduction at all. The teachers just go straight into doing their thing and putting knowledge into our young, open brains, and they just kind of go straight into assigning stuff. Hi, my name's Jay. Nice to meet you, Mr. <clears throat> no, 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 we, we, don't, we don't have any time for introductions. I need you to complete uh, this and uh, this and uh, this and this by tomorrow, please. I mean, that's okay, though. It seems to me that the teachers that do that are the ones that have the most, um, quote-unquote, high-pressure jobs, where they have the pressure of the students needing to do very well on the AP and IB tests at the very end of the year, and that's how their performance is measured. And they understand that there is not enough time in the nine months of school to teach all of the material, so they have to hop right into things and not waste a single day. Anyway, that was my first day in a nutshell, although that might not have been the most accurate portrayal of what happened. But I mean, I'm looking forward to a great school year under the instruction of all of my extremely qualified teachers. And although some of them might be a little quirky and some of them might be a little boring, all of them definitely know the material that they are teaching, which is the most important thing because all I need to do is learn. Thanks so much for watching the very first episode of Converjasons. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please leave a comment below. 
And if you enjoy this and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. It keeps me very motivated to keep making these videos. I'm enjoying it so far, so I'll probably continue making them. And I will see everyone very soon.